Hey ladies and gentlemen, have you been waiting for the next big entry in the video game franchise known as Devil May Cry? Well, unfortunately, this is not it. Capcom instead has opted to re-release some of their old Devil May Cry games. Starting off, they will be re-releasing Devil May Cry 4 as a special edition and they will be re-releasing DMC Devil May Cry as the definitive edition. Both games will be coming to next generation platforms, PS4 and Xbox One, and the games will be out on March 17th for the definitive edition of DMC, and it will include 1080p and 60 frames per second, more DLC, more content with Virgil, and there will be also a turbo mode that lets the game run up to 20% faster to allow you to actually enjoy the game a little faster if you like that type of gameplay for Devil May Cry, and there will be more costumes and cool stuff like that, alright guys? I do think all that stuff is pretty cool right there in addition to the game. Because if you've been watching my videos in the past, I was a big fan of DMC. It was on my top 10 games of the year that year. I personally really do enjoy the Devil May Cry games. So I like Hackers and Slashers. I like God of War. I like gameplay like that. So I had fun with those games. So if you didn't play these games before, I actually do recommend you guys go ahead and pick it up. For DM Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, that's going to be coming out at a later time. And that's going to be coming out in the summer. Um, the DMC Definitive Edition will be actually $40. So if you want to pick that up, it's going to be $40 for the PS4 and Xbox One. Unfortunately, there's been no word if there's going to be a PC edition of the game. But, you know, Japanese developers these days, sometimes they don't like putting out PC version of the games. Even though Capcom is a pretty big developer, so I'm surprised that they're not putting out a PC version of this game as well. Street Fighter 5 is going to be on PC, so what's up with that Capcom? You can put this on PC, let people run it up to 4K if they really wanted to, or maybe they don't want to re-release it on PC right now. Maybe they'll do it down the line. But it's still good to hear it, guys, and here's a fact sheet right here, some of the information that actually Capcom provided to me. They sent me over this press release right here, guys, and yeah, so there you go, guys. $39.99, like I said before, it's going to be rated M. Ninja Theory is the people that's going to be taking care of that. And all that good stuff, it must go faster, like I said, 20% speed boost, bigger challenges, rebalanced combat, new Virgil's body place mode, definitive packaging, basically all the DLC, there's a downfall, and all that cool stuff that was in the real full game, and some of it that was DLC as well. Now, my full reactions to this, guys, is that I really would wish they would just go ahead and do the sequel. But I could understand for what the sales of this game, they were okay, but they weren't the best ever for the Devil May Cry in a sense. So with that, I can say that more people probably want to play this game that didn't get the chance last generation. As it did come out kind of near the end of last generation, so some people probably skipped it or was hoping for a next generation Devil May Cry game. And some people were really skeptical on this game. I, I personally think that even with the character changes, it was still a decent game. And the vibe of the game, it was its own, so I definitely did enjoy it. But if you didn't play Devil May Cry the first time, I definitely do tell you to pick it up. And of course, of course, if you didn't play Devil May Cry 4, Devil May Cry 4 is definitely worth playing itself. Alright guys, so anyways guys, we can here with the OnTalkGames.com. Share your own opinions in the comment section below. Capcom, well, nice remake, but I still, still, still would have liked the sequel personally. I'm out of here guys. Peace.